Yo, what's up? It's Superstore Kiki. I'm back. Redoing this video for the third time. Because the first one, the audio was shot. The second one, I forgot I had my um frequencies on. And I didn't want that to be all in y'all ear like that. Y'all be wondering, what is that noise? So I turned that off. I'm redoing the video. And that was like a 30-minute video. Hopefully I can, you know what I'm saying, get a lot of that information in this video. I'm trying to make it shorter too. But... What I was saying is that the first video that I tried to upload, I was talking about how they was messing with my phones again. They was messing with my phone again. Okay. Um, I was listening to Pandora, you know what I'm saying? And I kept hearing this noise, like a hang up noise or whatever. And they did it two more times before I even left the house. You know what I'm saying? So it was like the third time while I was outside taking my walk. So you know, they tapping in on the phone and shit. And I was wondering, has anybody experienced that? You know what I'm saying? On my other video, I was talking about how they turn my phone on and off. You know what I'm saying? But now they doing the shit where it sounds like it's hanging up. And there's no calls coming through. Nothing like that. So it's not a call. I'm not, I'm not in the end call or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I check my call log. Nothing there. All that shit. So it's like, really? But, so, and then, you know... <laughs> I, w I was talking about some other stuff, you know what I'm saying, on this other video, like, th alright, let's talk about this, because it's on the top of my head right now, schizophrenia, schizophrenia is created, you know what I'm saying, how I know this, because I know this, I be knowing things, but it was more proof that came up when I was listening to Pandora the other day, I took a screenshot of this picture that was on, like, a commercial or whatever, right, it was literally a little picture on a commercial, but um, I took a picture of it. I'm going to upload it on my Instagram. I dropped my Instagram link below so y'all can follow me on IG if you want to or see the picture. Um, But on this picture, it shows a person in the back of their body, and there is a black circle in the lower part of their neck. This is a space where entities and demons can enter, excuse me, as well as... This is also a spot where they put implants in people, all right? And these implants are meant to control the person, okay? There was a TED Talk done by a woman who was talking about this technology that has been created. That they could put this, hold on, on your neck, in the back of your, in the back of your neck, and... It will control the person. All right. So, that's more proof. Like, they put the shit right in your face. Like, literally. <laughs> and then they market these different drugs that will make you even sicker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talking about can cause this and that and this and that. And the list goes on. Horrible things that the medicine that they create... After they create the sickness, after they create the disorder, then they create bullshit ass medication to go with it, you know, but it's just more proof. It's just more proof. I hope I ain't covering up the, hope y'all heard that, but it's just more proof that, you know what I'm saying? It's all part of their demonic ass game, man. They don't want to see nobody go to the light, yo. Real talk. They want to keep you down and depressed and sad. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but you you can't let that shit get to you, man. You can't let that shit get to you. <clears throat> because that's what they want. They want to make you give up on love. They want to make you give up on everything. Like, for real. That's their fucking goal, man. Like, they will send motherfuckers in your life just to break your heart. Like, they will do that. They have done that. You know what I'm saying? They send their little agents. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Undercovers. Demons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Demons undercover. To fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? To get you to be like, F love. You know what I'm saying? Then next thing you know, you're heartbroken. Then you listen to some depressing ass music that better tells you to fuck love, <laughs> fuck love, get money, <laughs> type shit. But if you connect the dots, 
you sit down and really pay attention, you see what they trying to do. And you see what they you see what they trying to do and the shit don't work. It won't work no more once you actually open your eyes to see what the fuck is going on. That is one of the greatest weapons against these motherfuckers is putting the truth out there. So that's why I'm I'm putting the truth out there. Like for real. Fuck it. <laughs> Cause it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So when you meeting new people, be cautious. Know that they could be an undercover. You know what I'm saying? Be, you know what I'm saying? But don't let that shit make you closed all the way off. Like, for real, for real. I've been there. <laughs> Trust me. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, and I've had people, you know what I'm saying, comment. I appreciate the concern and you caring about me. I have seen people write, like, you know, be careful about who you talk to. You know, it could be, you know, something they sent. Trust me, I know. I know. And I be on the lookout for that shit. You feel me? I do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm protected, though, so I ain't, I ain't tripping. But I be on the lookout at the same time. You know? I move a little different. <laughs> I do. Um, and that's why they really haven't really been sending too many people my way because <laughs> they know I know what's up. I be looking, I be lurking, I be making sure. I be like, shit, who the fuck is you? <laughs> Literally, I scan these motherfuckers with the spiritual eye. You hear me? The spiritual eye. I want to know what your your spirit is. What kind of spirit is you? Are you a dark spirit? Are you a spirit of love and light? Because if you're a dark ass spirit, we we ain't gonna be able to coexist. <laughs> at all at all so that's that you know what I'm saying so don't let these motherfuckers turn you off on love don't let these motherfuckers turn you off on what makes you happy you know what I'm saying regardless of what the fuck they try just know that you're more powerful than them and when you know what's up you know what's up you know what I'm saying and don't sit back and go all out of your way trying to trying to get people to to know, wake up and shit because and I say that because especially if you trying like super hard and it's starting to stress you the fuck out all right so if you're trying to wake up some friends and family that you really care about and they don't want to hear it you can't force them to hear it you can't you can lead a little horse to water but you can't make them drink the water that motherfucking horse can be dehydrated as fuck and if that motherfucker too stubborn to drink the water, ain't nothing you can do about it. All you can do is focus on saving you. You know what I'm saying? And, and helping those that want to be helped. Helping those that, you know what I'm saying, haven't been already taken over. Because a lot of times, those people that you thinking you saving, a lot of them have already been taken over. That's another reason why they so stubborn, you know. A lot of them have already been taken the fuck over by demonic ass beings. So, of course, they do not want to be saved. They are demons. You know what I'm saying? And I know that might rub some people the wrong way to know that some of their friends and family are that. But the sooner you wake up to the fact <laughs> that that's what it is, the happier you can become. You might not be happy when you first realize it. Lord knows I wasn't. I just had to accept it. Like, okay, it is what the fuck it is. Moving on. All right? Moving on. I, I can only focus on keeping myself protected. And making sure I don't fall for the okie doke. <laughs> All right? For real. Making sure I don't fall for the okie doke. Because... I ain't letting it happen. I can't love them more than I love me. Because loving them more than I love me won't do me no good. It'll just pull me where that fuck they are. And uh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Okay? Literally. Alright, so. Like, but, you know. I'm sharing as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, I am aware that, you know, they, they, they monitor, they, they tap in my phone. So they know what the fuck I'm talking about and all that. Um, so I share what the fuck I can, man. And, uh, the rest is up to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I can, like I said, I'm just leading the horses to the water. Y'all drink the water you want to, you don't want to, you don't have to. That's fine. That's totally okay. But those of you who do drink the water... You know what I'm saying? You will get the rest of what you need. I can only take you so far. You know what I'm saying? Literally. All right. I can only take you so far. And other other uh, light workers <laughs> can only take us so far because I listen to people too. And they can only take me so far. The rest of the the rest of it is on me. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you know, was introduced to a lot of things that I do now. You know, as far as my uh, crystal work, which I believe I was already into that in my past life. But, you know, I I got taken further with certain people, listening to certain people. And and then after that, it's like, you know, my own intuition kicks in on, okay, well, I can do this and this and this with it, too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just like that. It's like driving a car, you know what I'm saying? Or, Or, let's see, that's probably not a good analogy, but. I I can't think of one right now, but whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like you get the information, you know, and and something going to click in you. Something going to click in you if you're really receptive to it and you open to the help. Something will click inside of you that will take you to the next step, you know what I'm saying? And you will know, you will be aware of what you can share and what you might have to keep to yourself. Because, you know, um, sometimes people are not ready. <laughs> sometimes people are not ready for all of it. And then also, you got to look at the fact that your enemies, you don't want your enemies knowing you every fucking move. You know what I'm saying? They watching too. So, you got to be smart. Like I say, we playing, che- we playing chestnut checkers <laughs> like a bitch, okay? You're not finna tell them, oh, I'm finna to move my, I'm finna to move my knight over to the right. <laughs> yeah, then I'm going to move. Yeah, my rook over here. It's a no. You, you don't. You don't tell them everything. You don't. You, I mean, even though you're trying to help other people, but they're listening in too. So it's like, yeah, you got to be smart with it. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But still, you don't know. Just like I be knowing, you'll know. You get it, you get it. <laughs> you get it, you get it. But you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, they be they be putting the shit the truth in plain sight, man. Like for real. Like when I seen that picture, and I already knew schizophrenia was created before I seen the picture, but that was just I had to hurry up and get that screenshot. I'm like, it's just proof. It's just proof. More confirmation. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these these uh mental disorders are created. And this is for the purpose of it's a weapon because they can use these people as weapons to hurt others. They can also they they're putting the weapon on the person, you know what I'm saying? In the person. And they also destroying the person that they put the weapon in because they're making their life fucking hell, literally. So. Yeah. <laughs> That is that. And, uh, you know, it, it. I know the truth is stranger than fiction. You know what I'm saying? What my friend was telling me, man, my, my sister, you know what I'm saying? She was telling me that. And it's true. The truth is stranger than fucking fiction. Like when you really open your eyes and become aware of what is going on, it is very strange and fucking retarded, but it's real. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't want to believe that shit. A lot of, a lot of motherfuckers, oh, excuse me. A lot of motherfuckers just want to, you know what I'm saying? Keep their head on the rock. They want to, they, they want to focus on, you know, what, what the celebrities are doing today. <laughs> Which one of them pregnant? You know what I'm saying? Which one of them having an affair? That's what they want to focus on. 
And that's because that is what they're being programmed to do. A lot of a lot of these people is fucking programmed like a motherfucker. And they don't even know that shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I already did a video talking about the subconscious mind a while back. And on how I listen to recordings to reprogram my subconscious mind. I've been doing it for a minute, but, you know, and sometimes I take a break from it here and there. But um, I've been doing it. I've been doing it for a while now, like, I want to say at least a year. You know what I'm saying? And it really does help. But I've been using my little radio or whatever. I noticed that they be turning, like, somehow... They'll they'll turn all the volume all the way down. So I have to use other ways to, you know what I'm saying, keep the volume the way I want it so that I can hear it while I'm sleeping. Um, like they'll literally turn turn it all the way down or completely turn you know, turn it off. I've had that happen too. Like I wake up and it's like turned off and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like literally. You know what I'm saying? But Programming the subconscious mind is best to do when you're sleeping so that the messages can get into it easier. And you want to have it at enough volume where you can hear it, but it's not too loud to where you can't sleep. So, but you know what I'm saying? That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's how you, that's the best, that's one of the best ways that I've come across to do it. You know, you can also do yourself, you know what I'm saying? Self affirmations. In the mirror, I do that as well, and uh, that's another good way. But <laughs> y'all, you know I'm saying it, it's wild, man. I'm gonna tell y'all, man. They do not. They do not like that shit. They don't like that shit. They don't like that shit because they know that's where the power at, man. They know that's where the power at. They know it. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Oh, another thing I mentioned in the last video that I tried to record. Um, what else was it? Okay. It was brought to my attention that people were wondering who these gang stalkers are. And I read somewhere that it it is uh, a lot of them are inmates. You know what I'm saying? Which makes sense because a lot of my gang stalkers look like inmates. Like, you could just look at them and tell, like, they from the prison. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not hard to to see it. Like, they look like it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's just a certain look. You, you'll you know it when you know it. But um, the thing about it is they get these inmates to do this so that they can stay out of prison. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. They feel like they have to do this shit so they don't go to jail or they don't go back to jail. So that's another way that they get motherfuckers where they don't have to pay them. You know what I'm saying? They saving money like that, like, you know, some blackmail type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you going to do this shit for us or your ass going back to jail. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So they'll do the evil shit just so they can stay out of jail. Okay. But the ones that are in charge of this are reptilians or demonic ass motherfuckers. Okay. They are in charge of these gang stalkers. <laughs> Which the, the gang stalkers are fucking slaves to them. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Alright. So that's that. Um... What else? I think that's it. I'm trying to remember. Is there anything else I mentioned on the last video that I wanted to touch on? Oh, another thing, yo. <laughs> as far as them not wanting you to be happy, they don't want you to have no kind of pleasures, bro. Like, at all. Like, at all. Like, me being single, you know what I'm saying? I like to please myself. I ain't gonna fucking sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, the fuck? Okay. Um, so they will try to manipulate that, you know what I'm saying? Whether they are trying to cause you to have the urges or they're trying to, 
prevent you from getting your gratification. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. They like to manipulate that. But there are ways around that as well. Um, you do your research, you'll find it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't going to talk too much on that subject. But just know there's ways around it if you're dealing with that and it's bothering you. There's ways around it. And if enough people ask me or if somebody asks me about it, I may do a video on it. I don't know. But that's that. Um, what else? Mm. If they're sending you like negative thoughts and things like that, is you just have to uh, fight those thoughts off. Know that they're not yours. Know that it's something that they're doing. Because I'm aware that a lot of people that, you know what I'm saying, watch my videos or some of the people, you know, are fellow targets or, or chosen ones. And some have been implanted. So if you are one of those people, I don't want you to lose hope. You know what I'm saying? That they're messing with your mind, trying to make you think things that are not your thoughts. Know that just you, your power is in knowing that.